Hi, this is Dave Bates, proprietor of Bates Hunt. For many years, people have asked me, how do you get your projection to line up so perfectly with your house? And I've been reluctant to tell them because it's kind of a trade secret. But this year marks the 10th anniversary of the Bates Hunt. And others are also using this technique, uh, such as Disney, for their Magic the Memories and You show. So I think it's time that I do a behind the scenes so you can see how this works. And maybe try it out yourself. The first year, I really didn't know how to do it either. And I just started experimenting with different things. The first thing I did was to take a picture of my house with a camera from the same spot as the projector. And then project a grid uh, like this and take that grid to deform the picture and try to make it fit how the projector really worked. As you can see in this video, it wasn't really that successful. It only got me in the general vicinity. So for the next year, I came up with a technique to make a 3D trace of my house uh, that shows exactly how the projection will be mapped to the 3D surface. This is the 2011 trace of my house. Uh, and you can see it's very precise and it takes into account the angle and position of the projector exactly. So how do you get one of these? Well, it's actually really easy, once you know the trick. Take your projector and put it in exactly the spot that you're going to project from. You need to make sure that your projector is set up exactly the way you want it, like focus, zoom settings, anything like that, because every little bit counts. Set them in a reproducible way so that every year you can set it exactly the way that you had it the previous year. Otherwise, you're going to have to do a retrace. And I end up doing a lot of tweaks to my Haunt every year because I just can't get it exactly right. So once you've got that set up, then connect your laptop to your projector and make sure you set your laptop to exactly the same resolution as your projector and open up your full screen drawing program and just begin to draw on your house. And this is great fun. Uh, you'll have great, a great time and I, every year I have a great time just sketching on my house to try and find uh, cool things I can do. So now I'm going to take my trace and I'm going to line it up precisely with my house. And you can see it's pretty picky. If I get a little bit of wind, I get quite a bit of wiggle in my projection. It doesn't have to move very far uh, when you're projecting this huge and this distance. So anyway, get that lined up just right. Every year I have to move this mausoleum a little bit. It just doesn't necessarily end up in the same spot. So I'm going to invert the trace because in this particular situation it's a little easier to see. And then I'm just going to take my Photoshop line tool and start to drag it along the edge here. You can of course do it however you want. Sometimes I paint and sometimes I draw. Uh, just whatever, whatever makes the best edge. Sometimes you want a softer edge and then I kind of paint like on the pumpkins. Anyway, so you can see I'm just getting a nice little line along the edge here. Just make sure you're getting right on the very edge of all the surfaces. And then uh, there we go. And you can see it lines up real great. So you can use this trace to make all sorts of exciting little mats. Like this is the front door. This is the edges. Edge softener, I call it. This is the house. This is the windows. And here's the trim that I used to do little highlights on sometimes. Lights that I can change colors. The ooze. And the pumpkins. So now once you've got your cool trace with all the stuff all integrated into it, you can uh, do all sorts of fun things. Sorry the lights are on inside my house there, but anyway, here's the lights. And uh, then here is the trees, so I can mask them out and make sure I don't project on them. And then we've got the pumpkins here. And we've got the rest of the front yard there and the house. And here's the windows and the front door and we've got some little things for the front door there and this is the trim I do some highlighting on and you can see you can stick all sorts of great things on it now using those mats you can control exactly where things go so there you go an inside look at how the Bates Hunt works uh, and how to do 3D projection mapping if you end up using these techniques please email me at dave at bateshaunt.com and let me know how it went. Thanks for watching and happy hunting.